Okay, so as is always the way, uh, a lot of sort of 3D printing and design, it, it's great to have one sitting next to you rather than always shipping it off to a place. Because quite often, uh, you know, with fiddly designs like this, you're tolerancing something and trying to work on little incremental details. So it just really speeds it up. So one of those things was, this is where the rotary encoder is, which does the working out where this arm is in space for the longitude. That's the, the vertical axis, if you like, of the globe. And then what I realized is, even though I'm happy with this general arrangement, and that's helped me, even though it's just glue gunned on, I kind of knew that this would basically work loose. And so I thought, right, I gotta come back to that and make some sort of little frictional thing. And I think this is something that I'm, I'm really quite pleased of. And I left the, the back off this. So this would, this would be this part here. Um, and what we've got is basically some little mechanisms here, which essentially are little spring-loaded levers. So it's almost like a piece inside there with a little bump, if you imagine a sort of bump on the end of my fingernail. It's trying to press out and it's trying to press in here to break it. And then what I've done, the reason it looks a bit mucky is because I've got some graphite, which is an excellent lubricant for 3D parts and other things. Um, and then this allows these things to come together and kind of satisfying because you appreciate all the ridges are in this direction. So it's, it basically self-locates because of the, the inherent nature of 3D prints being built up in layers. Um, and then it just doesn't make any noise because it just runs around in a little groove. And I've sort of tried to color them in blue there so you might just see them poking through. Um, but I just think this is a really nice, nice example of how to use 3D printing well um, as opposed to sort of always being in the, I've got to do this for injection molded parts. So this would be a bit of a nightmare part to do with all these little levers. You'd have to do lots of actions and shut offs and things like this. Um, so it's just sometimes nice to actually be liberated and do a nice all in one part because 3D printing just does this and even just make a virtue of the fact it has got these little ridges and it's, it's actually making it kind of kind of nice. So there we are, little 3D printing details.